Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this flyer in Photoshop. Of course, simple steps. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and um, if you've not subscribed yet. Without having to waste much time, let's get started. So the first thing that I did was to, or I would do is to, I'm just going to give it a name here. Um, this is going to be pizza flyer or better still I'm going to change it to um, social media flyer pizza All right then uh, of course the width and height 5x5 five five, position 300 RGB transparent and when you're done click on create like this okay so if you did that correctly it opens up the world of photoshop so first thing click on adjustment layer and click on solid color so um, this is the first thing we're going to be doing so you can copy this color code this is what we use first right just click ok and this is our background color right immediately i do that um let's head on to like do the next thing so what i would do is um, i'm going to select this color you can copy the color code right and um, i'm going over to gradient now this step is very very important i'll just copy my settings make sure you uncheck this and so it's going from that color to fade it out so create a new layer and just drag from this part like this gently two three and um, drag again you can see the distance at which i'm dragging make sure you don't come close right and uh, i'm going to apply here also i'm just going to do it gradually no to no um yeah good so i think this is perfect like that this is the color i used for the shadow so you can copy this and use this right immediately do that just click ok like this so this is what you have you have your nice subtle blended gradient at the bottom so i'm just going to go over and go to my text too and uh type out what i want to type so again guys um the fonts and all the resources i use for this video is in the description of this video do well to check the description of this video to get those things so you can use along the same way so this particular font i'm using is also in the description of the video so i'm just going to change the color to white and then press ok and i'm going to close the space in between just like this minus 75 and i'm just going to make several copies of this particular word okay so you're gonna press ctrl j on your keyboard to make several copies of this make sure to maintain the same distance between this duplicate so what i'm basically doing here is ctrl j and you can use your arrow key on your keyboard holding down control or shift either ways to make it perfect All right so i'm just going to have six, six copies of this so this is the last one like this okay so when you're done with that select the first one on the top hold down shift and select the last one like this and go and select convert to shapes right just like we did in previous videos so if you've not watched it kindly click on the last video to watch how we handled stuff like this so ctrl t and i'm going to just um position this well here like this and um position this well in place here like this it's fine to want to move this upward it's perfect so position this here this is where i want it to be okay
so i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this and i'm going to bring this outside here like this so with this one i have different plans for it so click on the thumbnail to bring out the color palettes and i'm just going to select this color so you can use my color code to make sure to copy the color code so we're on the same page and uh, click ok like this so this is what you have but it's a little bit hard so i'm just going to drag it and put it below that shadow you can you see now so this is where it was before you can see that it's a little bit odd so drag it from that point on and put it below the shadow you have here like this now it's perfect and you can tone down the opacity and um, use it this way okay great so um going forward I'm going to also drag this um, pizza on also below the shadow. I'm going to select this and select the background and I'm going to click on convert to smart object so it becomes one. Having done that, I'm just going to go over to noise and add noise to this particular background. So you can copy my settings for this also. Right? You can see how it has created a nice effects with this background, right? Good. So having done that, let's move on, right? So um, right about time, we need to start introducing our elements. So I'm going to the topmost layer, which is this one. Make sure you're on the topmost layer. It's very, very important in Photoshop. Um, positioning is very important. So I'm just going to bring in this pizza image like this. And I'm just going to... I'm holding Alt key to resize um, all the way down like this right so i'm just going to move it in place uh, i'm using my arrow key and i'm going to press enter when i feel it's the right place so go over to filter because i need to adjust this image to make it pop of course you know in our design sections and everything we need to always make sure that um, we use quality images and also we make it pop so it's attractive and all of that so just copy my settings and um, use the same thing so we get the same results all right so I haven't done all of that right this is what you get you can just go on and press ok like this so before and after you can see the difference now and even the redness of the image even matches the one you have on the background not the way it was before so I'm going to create another layer underneath the pizza. Now I'm going to work on the shadows. So I'm going to select this, this color here. This is the color code, right? So you can just copy it and um, we're good to go. So I'm going over to my pen to make sure you're selecting shape. Yeah, I'm selecting, I'm currently using my pen to make sure it's shape you're selecting and not part, please. Click here and um, okay that's a mistake ctrl z when you make a mistake like this ctrl z do that again good this is exactly how the shadow is going to be like so i haven't done that go to filter blow and gaussian blow yes convert to smart object so you can increase the radius use my settings for this also and um, when you're done click ok this is nice so what you're going to do is uh, make it more realistic add a max to it with the max selected go over to your gradients and make sure to use these settings right make sure you click from none to black right so drag out like this to create this realistic shadow i'm going to do that again ctrl z don't drag this way no start from the pizza itself right till you get this good right nice just make sure you copy the settings that i have here for the gradient and just drag and drop from within the pizza any area from the pizza it's fine so this is what i have right and this is what i'm going to work with that's too much yeah that's okay 
okay so if you've done that right this is what you should achieve with it right uh, this is what fits into like the design i'm going over to my source file and i'm going to drag this next element inside and i'm going to click inside here like this move it to the edge make it smaller and um, position this well where it is supposed to be right i can uh, adjust it rotate it and flip it whichever ways i want it to go okay fantastic so i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this and i'm going to make it smaller go over to blur the first one apply some sweet caution blur to it to make it realistic this is too much so i'm going to reduce it i think this is perfect at this point right i'm just going to click ok like this and that's by the way so um i need to add the same effect to what i added to this to the other one so instead of me repeating the whole process again i'm just going to um, copy the effect onto this so how do i do that hold down your alt key on your keyboard and drag on top of this to apply the effect to it like this now open up the arrow and i'm just going to increase this up yeah like this okay so next i'm going to go on and bring in the next element right which is this nice glass of cola and of course it has a straw in it but this one i'm going to just move it up so just move it up like this directly on top of the pizza and um, increase the size to make it more realistic like this okay good Uh, make a duplicate copy of this one and um, increase the size here just put it here like this okay nicely done we're doing good at this point so create a new layer on top of every other thing and i'm just going to drag in the text i had already taken our time to type all of this so we won't spend time here so I'm just going to adjust all of this and I said again all of this uh, the font that I use and everything is in the description of this video so just click on the link and download them and follow along with this right so this is details create another new layer on top of this and I'm going to select this color right this is very important select this color right go over to your brush make sure your opacity and flow set to 100 and make sure you are using this brush so i'm going to scroll all the way up of so many brushes make sure you are using this soft round pressure and opacity make sure your flow is set to 100 opacity set to 100 and uh, make your brush smaller by using your brackets and just apply this here change the blend mode to screen right this is some cool lighting effects just to make it to add some you know some steeds to this design so I'm just going to reduce this like this. So what I have basically is two, right? So I'm going to select two of them and I'm going to press Ctrl G to group them. And I'm just going to give this light one. So duplicate this um, Ctrl T. And I'm just going to move this away from here and put it where it's been needed like somewhere around here cool right it's needed here when you're done press enter and i'm going to do the last one um, and put it out somewhere else where it's needed but for this one it tends to be it tends to be too much here so what you can do is since it's group and everything go over to the opacity but let me duplicate this first, Ctrl T, and um, move this here like this. Click Enter. 
so like i was saying if you feel that it's too much you can go ahead and go to the opacity and reduce it so i'm going to do the last one but make this one bigger and i'm going to put it here like this so if for any reason you notice that anyone is too much the lighting is too much you can go over to where you have it like this one for instance this one i'm just going to reduce the opacity that's all yeah that's all like this and there you go all right so this is how um, you can create um, this kind of flyer out of nothing inside of Photoshop. How was the experience designing this if you've gotten to this point? Kindly you leave your comments in uh, the comment section of this video and um, also share this video to your friends, your family, your loved ones, your enemies and um, sharing is good and also don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video so you can tilt this information any ways you want you can tilt it that way but i'll just choose to uh, leave simplicity to take its place and just leave it like this and um, voila there you go mouth watery pizza 30 dollars right great so um this is how i created this flyer in photoshop if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, turn on the post notifications so you miss next videos I'll be dropping. I'll see you in the next video.